Good morning, good afternoon and good evening to all you wonderful artists out there in the big wide world. Today I'm going to show you how to use the homemade transfer paper we made in the last episode. And I'm going to show you exactly how to use it. So, let's get cracking. So I've got this little photo here on a, a canvas, a stretched canvas. And I'm going to transfer this image down onto the canvas using this homemade transfer paper and all we do you see is we slip it underneath there like that and so all we do is we start to now if you look it's starting to transfer it's easy isn't it And there we go, when you're, when you're happy with, with what you've done, if you think you've got all the relevant points down there, then you can remove the transfer paper. And there we go. There is the picture, all ready to be painted. And that's basically it. I've just seen one or two things, and you will see one or two things you may have missed. So just pop it back in. It's still aligned because you've got it taped down. Let's just put in some of these reflections in, in the eyes. There we go. That is done. I'm happy with that. So there you go, that's how to use your homemade transfer paper. Now the best tool to use is a biro that has run out of ink because the ball isn't lovely and smooth and will not damage anything while you're doing it. You can use different types, this one happens to be my favourite. Or this was one when I didn't have a biro to hand, I actually made one, which is a clutch pencil and inside the clutch pencil is a little piece of wire. Now it's copper wire that I got out of an old mains cable and I rounded the ends, sanded, filed and sanded the ends so it's lovely and smooth. That fits into the clutch pencil like so and it's perfect for doing this kind of work. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed that video and I look forward to seeing you on the next one. So. In the meantime, happy painting.